National Pizza Party Day edition of Royal High School News. I'm Octavia Bird. And I'm Natalie Cortez. Today's broadcast features our bi-weekly sports and weather reports, along with some important messages from students. But before we get into that, it's time for our featured segment. Mr. Pete Christensen is the longest tenured RHS teacher teaching here for 17 years. Awesome. In Europe, we have a little Christmas tree that we like to change up with the different holidays, and right now it's all prepped for graduation. The 10th word spoken in the 10th episode of the RHS News was the. The only classes to win back-to-back -back homecoming championships are the classes of 2016 and 2023. Mr. Smith lets seniors paint bricks in his classroom. This is something he does every year, and as you can see, Abigail Delay chose to do this. There is no locker 176. The 12th person to walk across the stage at last year's graduation ceremony was Dawson Harris. There are 188 doorways in the main RHS building. This bust of William Shakespeare is haunted by the ghost of William Shakespeare. The hidden golden pineapple from the March 24th episode of the news was hidden on this shelf in Miss West Wilson's classroom, found by Selena Valdez. Article 7, Section B of the RHS Constitution says, quote, main meetings of the ASB will be held twice a month. The Executive Council claims the power to call emergency Executive Council meetings or of the full council. Hey students, did you know that this is the original coat of arms that was hand drawn and adopted in 1969? Did you know that Mrs. Guadarrama's classroom used to be the main entrance to the high school? Well, high school was one of the first schools to get an artificial turf. Sopo has won nine state championships. Ms. DeLay is the youngest RHS teacher currently teaching. <laughs> the music in the fight song is from the Lucille Ball stage play, Wildcat, and it's titled, Hey Look Me Over. The Nighthead logo that is commonly used was actually found on Google Images, not drawn by a former student as it is commonly believed. Also, fun fact, it looks like a train. Once you see that, you cannot unsee it. Thank you to everyone involved in that. Now over to the sports corner. Baseball finished their season placing fourth in districts. Congratulations on a good end to a good season. Softball played last night and won. They play in Connell tomorrow, but we don't know against two at the moment of this recording. Soccer placed third in their district tournament last week. They played today in Mostreno against Seton Catholic in their first round of state tournament. Girls golf took home a league championship last week and took and both of the boys and girls teams played in their district tournament earlier in this week as well. Track had a successful sub-districts meet last week and are on to districts today in countries. Good luck to them in that meet at state next week. And finally, the tennis team competed well at the sub-districts this past weekend. Moving on to districts tomorrow are double teams Maddie Christensen and Campbell Anderson, as well as Hilly Asenso and Mar Michelle Martinez. Girls single players that will be moving on to districts are Naomi Abundes and Maria Zapata. Best of luck to all of y'all and we wish you all athletes good luck to their upcoming contest. Over to the weather. Weatherman Seth here. I hope you guys are doing a good day today. Um, the high for today uh, is... This is my job, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Today's a high of 95 degrees with lots of sun. Next week is going to dip back down to normal spring temperatures in the highs of 70s and low of 80s with clouds. That's all for weather. Back to the desk. Thank you for the reports. Before we check out today's closing story, we need to make some reminders and announcements. Don't forget to buy your yearbooks for $50 at the athletic office or by scanning the QR code on the screen. Yearbooks will be delivered next week on Friday. Speaking of yearbooks, the yearbook class is putting on its year week next week to celebrate the release of the yearbook. The dress up days are on screen right now. Make sure to participate. And to conclude that spirit week, yearbook class will be holding a car show on Friday the 26th. Come see some cool cars and get your yearbook signed all at the same time. Sophomores, there will be math SBAC prep on Monday, May 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. Pizza will be provided for both days. That's all for this week's announcements. 
For today's main story, we have an important message for eighth grade through junior students. Weatherman Seth here. I'm not here for the weather. I'm actually here because I'm, I'm running for ASB president. So you can vote for me on the Google form that will be posted somewhere on Friday. Um, thank you. Vote for Seth. Hi, my name is Alexa Osorio, and I'm running for vice president. Um, small face reveal, I guess. <laughs> Hi, my name is Fernanda Castillo, and I'm running for public relations. should definitely vote for Seth. Well, that's all for our show this week. We hope you enjoyed it. For Royal High School News, I'm Octavia Bird. And I'm Natalie Cortez. We hope to see you next time.